neck and neck with Georgetown on Sunday before the Hoyas closed the game strong to ultimately win by 16. But here we go. A holiday hoops doubleheader from the Joel Coliseum. Wake in the white. Marshall in the black. And Malaya Coles with her first touch looking back door. Alexandria Scruggs. But they, they will pressure you. They forced 112 turnovers, Evan, in their last four basketball games. So, yeah, they're coming at you. You've got to be strong with the ball. you got to know where you're going with it when you get it and make plays like that. Malaya Cole is able to scoop it up and in. The tuition for the Thundering Herd. Spacing. There's the rub. Pick and roll action. But you go to the second player. Nice job of getting the inside. And then Cole's doing. There's your trap. The two-guard front. 2-2-1, two, two, one, one, two, one, one. There's your, there's your problem. That's the pass that Marshall tries to create, and Tudor gets the herd on the board in transition. And it doesn't take this Marshall a long one pressure, the long cross court pass you're not able uh, going to make, but you got to come and meet that pass too. And then quickly you steal, and immediately you score. And they there's your trap. They have to wait for the whistle, but other than that, it's just like ice hockey. And there's a tie game back to back layups as Scott puts it in. Well, because Marshall can withstand exactly. one of their key players being in foul trouble. Wake Forest needs Kaya Harrison on that's the floor. A, and that's a cheap foul for Kaya Harrison. She needs all her fouls. Six in a row now for the herd. Beeman's first two. You've got six players to further that. They've got ten steals or more. Might have been one there. Kick out. Jordan splashes in the three. Madison Jordan knocking it down. Long pass. Madison Jordan knocks down the quick three off the bench. She could have a good game tonight. I'll tell you why in just a second. Finishes play out. Sydney Scott straight away gets the friendly roll. 11 different players have already seen action today for Marshall. Can't leave her there. Good look for Mays and CC buries the three. Yeah, I'm not complaining. It's good to be busy. It is. Into Campbell. Harrison didn't want to give the foul, and Campbell recognized as much and scored. Now they run their system, flying around defensively. Jordan shoots and scores. There you go. And roll action, go to the open spot. To Matthews. Oh, somehow Campbell in between two Deacon defenders comes up with it, kicks it. Redmond, three is good. Finally, Gives the ball away, and Marshall knocks down three first quarter threes. It's a seven-point lead for the Herd. One rebound, no assists, no turnovers. Yeah, that's just good, no turnovers. But that, that's what Marshall Diamond got. That's a good look there. Yep. Bam. Right on cue. You beat the pressure. You've got to be strong with the ball. You take your time. There's going to be some gaps. Wick take the other way. Beeman second bucket. Grugs is a little too strong inside five feet. Dable quickly into Conley who lays it in. No screening. There's no one moving to the ball or making a back cut. This is better. A little better. Coles on the dive. Nice feed. And Malaya Coles lays it in. Her second field goal. Seven field goals. Seven assists. Watch this. See, everybody was up. And so she knew she had one-on-one. -on -one. The defender was on her. <laughs> 121 against Point Park and 115 against Salem. And they were in a mid-scoring game. That's nice after the timeout. Not being able to score. High-low goes inside. Great inside position. Kept the ball up and went right to the basket. A nice job. We get it. The ball picked by Matthews. Just flings it ahead. Scott out race to the basketball by Williams. Great hustle by Williams. And then Diebel slings it ahead for Turkoff. Conley in rhythm. Bang! Yeah. Play without fouling if you wake for us. An 8 nothing run for the Deeks since they were down by 9. Beautiful pass. Beam into Williams. Make it Matthews inside. Uh, relocating. So when there was a penetration, if she would stop, she kicks it away. She did that. Tough spot for Diebel to pick yeah. up her dribble. And yet it works out. Beam into flex it for Turkoff, who takes it strong. And one. Here we go. Turnover. Smart play. Head up. Goes to the basket. Gets to contact, gets to basket. Driving on Williams. Mahogany Matthews, top of the key jumper, won't go. Offensive rebound, Hayes. That's a big play because it's the second foul on Elise Williams. And you want to watch this box out. She's there, 
It's a long rebound, great hands inside, and you're able to finish. Kayla Quimby seeing her first minutes of the game. Came in and gave him a little spurt the other day against Norfolk State. Oh, great block by Conley. Time, here you go. There's pressure. See, run the baseline. See if she was stationed there. Got it in okay. Got Harrison no explodes past multiple defenders, scores, and the foul. Kaya take over time. She's been quiet, a little hesitant, a little jump hesitation right there, gives her the angle and goes right to the basket. Both coaches shouting directions to their teams. Campbell tried to get around Conley, kicks it. Mayer open. Three. Coming off a one for 10 game on Sunday. Campbell turns it over. Harrison leads the break. Kaya Harrison puts it in. Again, great defensive effort here. Gets the ball. You've got the numbers. A moment ago, they had numbers. Didn't finish that way. A little fake right there. Gets a defender on their heels. Harrison inside Andrews. And Scruggs just picked up her third foul. This is one of the ways they do it. Yeah, and, and you, you know, here we go. Oh, great Good defense. Lot. Andrews rejects. Matthews effort. Harrison all the way ties us up 32 apiece. Hey, Stan. Her activity and her size. There's the block. Now watch the hustles. A season high for her. And there are more to get. Andrews for the lead. Hayes rejected. This time it's Conley saying no. And the thundering herd quickly tie it back up. Brianna Campbell. Jinx her, but I love her form. Watch, watch this shot. Knees bent, fall through, bam. Shot it a little quick. Just as soon as I brag on you, just about a split second on the release. But I love her technique at the line. Beeman kicks it. Ilderton sticks it. Just her third three of the season. Hesitated on the attack and pulls it back out. Diebel for three. Yes! That's a great job by Andrews. She didn't try to force it. Diebel was one out of 15 in her last six ball games from the three. Because the ball was reversed, the shot's going to be there. She beat the pressure, she beat it on the second side. Pass had no chance. Mays for two. They are so quick. I haven't seen a team. Offense, defense, back to offense. There's your pressure. Harrison through the defense, lays it in. Best way to attack it is to go right at it. Great job by Kaya Harrison. Hayes, yup. Remember all those shots that Marshall had in the paint early that they weren't making. They're beginning to make those. Handle the pressure. First field goal for Aislinn Hayes. Conley, errant pass. Jordan couldn't handle it. Mayer beats everybody down the floor. And it ran you down. And Marshall getting what they want in transition here on the road. Timeout. Deeks. Short corners are going to be available. Tough catch. Turkoff to the corner. Fires and hits. There you go. Still third quarter. Demon gives it up. Hayes to the bucket. Marshall leads again. Turkoff one on two. Oh, gives it up to the nice cutting Scruggs. Creating a little space and putting it home. And that's exactly what she did, Evan, using the left hand on the left side. So she, she got on the court. So you, know, you, you were waiting to find out. They couldn't tell her. Marshall back on top. Friendly bounce on the jumper. And Beeman now at six points. Lake Forest. Trying to hold off this Marshall team here at the Joel. Strong rebound, Campbell. Oh, that looked like a drag of the pivot foot, but it was excellent footwork as it turned out, and Campbell scores. Shooting the basketball, but they're being out rebounded by Wake by 10. The, the, the formula, that's the formula right there for Wake Forest. They've taken 42 shots now. They actually gave it to Williams, Dan. That's my they bad. Gave, they gave it. So Elise with three, Kaya just with one. Good defense there. Harrison got the loose ball. Gets a screen from Scruggs. 
a lot of the way they put pressure on you is because they're able to knock down threes. You go down and get a two, they knock another three down. Beautiful nice pass. Coles finishes. Nice. I mean, Coles, that was her first field goal attempt of the second half. She's four for four from the field in the game. Corner three. Abby Beeman with a dagger. Clock winding down. Conley gets it out. Harrison's going to need to fire. Gets it to go. Beating the buzzer, Kaya Harrison. If you knew how much time was there, very smart play by the grad senior. First Deacon in double figures, Harrison, but Abby Beeman is heating up, staying here in the fourth. Range drive there, little crossover. Feeder set, finishes high and falls. To extend the lead for Marshall. They put pressure. You stop, Wade's got a chance to lead. Good Great play. defense. Williams knocks it away. Watch at least Williams goes up, contest, goes after the basketball. Ahead to Harrison, pivoting. On the offensive glass, it's Conley and Wake Forest back in front. The long arms of Reagan Conley. That's Kaya go. Kaya can't make the play there. But Conley's long arms, a reverse layup, takes it down. Second chance opportunity, gives Wake the lead. Conley, the second deacon in double figures. Beeman blocked again. Williams the block, but on the second effort, Campbell. Both teams in the bonus, any foul the rest of the way. Mid-range shot will be there. William Long, two goes. They call it a three on the floor. Nice job here. The ball moves. She steps back. Oh, that's a three. That's a th yeah. Oh, great defense. Diebel takes it away, making amends. Try to run a little cutter here. Campbell. Gives it up, Aislinn Hayes for three. Yeah. Able to trigger the inbound. Williams up high, Coles down low. Pivoting through the traffic, count the bucket and the foul. She's able to power this through. There's a drop, the defender's late was there and she says, the heck with you. Tough start to the season, but they will head into the holiday break with a satisfying 66 59 win over the Marshall Thundering Herd. The Herd's four game winning streak is no more.